welcome to Beyond Books. My name is Christina Salvatore, the Communications Coordinator here at the Library. And I'm so happy you're joining us for this episode because we've had a busy summer and we have a lot to talk about. And who better to sit down with me than Director Julie Farkas. Hi, Christina. Thanks so much. It's Hi. It's great to be back. Welcome. We have, um, you're right, a lot of things to talk about. Um, you mentioned summer reading. Yeah. And I know that our summer reading program has been going like gangbusters. We have over 1,600 children, um, actually children, teens, and adults, signed up for the program this summer so far. And it's wow. only midsummer. So people still have the opportunity to join us and to read with us this summer. Um, we have some great sponsors for this program, our friends of the Novi Library and Paradise Park, who will um, actually hold a, a nice party at the end of the summer for the kids that join, um, for the younger children and for the teens that join the program. Um, we're giving away prizes to adults, so we're encouraging all ages to take part in our summer program. Great. And then our other partner is the school district. The Novi Community School District has just been phenomenal this year, um, coming on as a partner and really helping us with getting the word out about reading for the summer. Um, their teachers have been very positive and um, huge um, promoters of the program. You know, with summer, um, with school coming to the end and then getting ready for summer break, they were really excited about promoting our program and working with us so that we were keeping the Novi kids reading this summer. We are. We're lucky to have all of those sponsors. We are. We are very <laughs> lucky. So it's been a great program and summer's been obviously very busy with lots of great programming and there's still a lot of programs that people can attend, um, you know, as the as the weeks go on and, and we get towards fall, which is hard to believe. I but, know. Middle of July already. <laughs> and we'll be, and we'll be turning around soon and, and getting ready for school to come back. But um, so it's it is. It's been very exciting this summer. And they can sign up um, still online or in the library, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So and we have um, a lot of volunteers, a lot of teen volunteers, actually over a hundred of them helping wow. out with the program this summer. So you can work with our teen volunteers and get signed up. And um, it, it's just a great incentive. And I encourage, and I always have kids and anyone to read through the summer. This is a time when normally it's a little more relaxing. You know, you don't have schoolwork. You don't have other things that you're probably you're on vacation exactly people are on vacation and it might be a little more um, an opportunity for them to enjoy some good stories so this is the time to read and I also tell kids they won't grow cobwebs in their brain <laughs> if they're reading so hopefully they'll they'll hear me when I say that and they'll get out and they'll read a few things yeah. this summer. well I know obviously reading is um, huge so you've done you've worked with something um, mm -hmm. I'll let you talk about it, but something this summer to encourage reading more. We have, and um, it's called the Read Boxes. Um, it started last year. We uh, placed a Read Box in Lakeshore Park, and what it is, it's literally a box. It is um, the City of Novi, the Department of Public Service, helped build a box for us. It's weatherproofed, and the box has been placed in Lakeshore Park, and anywhere from 30 to 40 books can be placed wow. on a weekly basis in the box. People can take the books, read them, enjoy them, and then bring them back and leave them in the box. But it's just a small way of encouraging reading through the summer. We were really fortunate this year because the Rotary, the Novi Rotary, uh, donated $1,500 to the library oh my gosh. for two more boxes to be created. So we have a box now in ITC Park and we have a box in Rotary Park. That is so great. <laughs> so that's, you know, three locations um, throughout the city of Novi in our Novi parks. And the Parks and Rec Department, I want to thank them as well because, you know, they gave us the locations and, and they're perfect locations because people are using the parks in the summer. And so you have an opportunity when you're visiting the parks to also grab a book at the same yeah, time. Yeah, whether you're with family, just exactly parents, yeah, right. grab a book, read by the beach, anything. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And that's nice. It's in three different locations. Why spread around Novi? It is. So it, is. it hits everyone. And we're, we're fortunate because we haven't um, spent all of the gift money that was given to us and we're hoping that there will be another box coming in the future. So Great. we're looking for probably a total of four um, throughout the community over the next uh, year or so as okay. I hear that more parks and more spaces are being developed. Um, and we'll you know keep our, our community attuned to when that's going to happen. But right now, three, three wonderful boxes, all decorated um, by different artists. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we had a Novi High School student. Um, his name is um, 
Caleb Forge, and he was a senior at the high school at the Novi High, and he decorated one of our boxes. And then wow. we had a student from the Art Institute of Novi. Her name was Jacqueline DeCarolis, and she came and she also uh, decorated a box as well. So these are also local people yeah. and local artists Very that are taking cool. part. It's nice that you're getting the community involved and it having is. them decorate them. And I've seen them. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. And it's so their own unique work. It is. Which it is, is great. Um, and the boxes are refilled each week? Yes, they are. Okay. Our library staff, um, we actually, uh, where the books are coming from is donations. Okay. So we encourage people to definitely, you know, bring their donations to the library. And then we look at them. If the library doesn't use them in our library and in the collection, they either go to our friend's book sale or they're going into the read box. So these donations are being used again and again, and it's fantastic yeah. the way they're being spread across the community. I love this idea. <laughs> I do too. And it, Very it, cool. It is. And I, it I think other communities. Reading. Oh, for sure. It's and it's an been easy a huge way. success. It has. So, very nice. Um, so, on to the next. I know we're there's a lot to cover. There is. But speaking of the schools, I know we've also partnered with them. Um, what's behind us here? Yes. Some artwork that the um, art uh, their art students have been working on. Yes, we uh, built a really nice partnership with the art. Uh, the art teachers and then the art classes at the Novi High School this okay. year. And so we're sitting right now in our teen stop area, which is on the second floor of the library. And we have just unveiled, uh, in June, we unveiled an art show. So these are all teen uh, Novi High School wow. students and their artwork. And um, I know that um, you know we'll show a couple of the pieces, but if you come into the library, these are going to be on display for the next year. Okay. Um, and these are all students from the high school. This is all their unique work. Some beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, you know, and different mediums too. I know they use photography, ink, colored pencil, yes. acrylic. So a yes. lot of different styles. A lot of different styles and just beautiful. I'm I'm amazed by these students and how Their creative talent. they are. Very talent. talented. So we had a we had a little um, you know like grand opening mm -hmm. of the t of the teen stop, and we had their parents and, and students come and unveil their artwork. And so each year we'll be looking for the high school and the art students to then bring us another display of artwork every oh, okay. spring. So, so almost the, a yearly tradition yes, now. Okay. Yes, it'll change out. So this is our first display of them. They'll be on for the whole year and then it takes them that long. Students, you know, it takes time for them to work on their artwork. Oh, understandable. It's so a lot we'll of give detail. Them, we'll give them the school year in order to do that. It's another great way that how we're working with the schools. It is. It so. is. It really is. And and this is an opportunity for them to really showcase their work. So mm -hmm. I, I, I'm very excited about this piece. And the um, art hanging systems that we put into the Teen Stop this year, these were donated by our friends of the Novi Library. So, you know. Again, another huge sponsor. It's they great to are. With them. They are. They're a great sponsor and, a, and great supporters of our library. And they continue to bring things into our library that, you know, just obviously lets us connect with other groups as well. Yeah. So this is a great, it's great so nice. area. It's so nice. We've been busy this summer. We have. Or you've been busy. We've all been busy. <laughs> Everyone has. <laughs> I know. It has. It's almost it's scary to think, um, I'm already thinking fall. I know. Because I know we have something coming up in fall. We do. Oh. One more thing that we'll let them know. I so, know. So each year, and we're coming on our fifth, this is our fifth annual community read. Okay. And um, I'm happy to, to tell you that you are the first, and so are, are the audience today um, watching our taping of, of Beyond Books. Our book this year we're unveiling is We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. It is a fiction book. Okay. Um, we've had nonfiction in the past. We're back to a fiction title. The author will come in in November, on November 18th, and she will be presenting and talking about her book. But we unveil the book on August 14th. So that's a Thursday. Okay. Um, the library will have multiple copies, close to 40, 50 Which go copies. Quick. They go very quickly. Very, very quick. So remember that date of August 14th. That's when we'll have our display and start making the book available to our communities. Um, this is a partnership with five libraries Novi, Northville, Lyon Township, Salem South Lyon, and Wixom. Okay. All five libraries came together five years ago and said, we want to do something as a group for our communities. What can we do? The community read came out of that idea. And so we've been encouraging reading now with our communities for five years and it's it's been very oh, successful. Huge success. I remember last year, packed house. Yes, <laughs> over 200 people yeah. were here to see the author and hundreds of people read the book. Yeah, so how do you guys pick the book? Well, it's a good question. We have um, a committee and all of the libraries are represented. They send different um, librarians. We read through tons of different books for us to find that perfect one that, that we everyone think, will enjoy. Yes, that and we're and we're trying to make it um, readable to you know women, men, students because we actually work it in where the Novi High School will get the author 
and have a visit and, oh, okay. and we'll be able to present as well. Is that something new this year? Nope, that's um, something that we've been able to okay. do for the last few years. Um, and again, a nice tie into the high school and to the students there as well. So yeah. it's, it's just a great opportunity, again, promoting reading, connecting our community with authors and, and those people that create these amazing stories. And I think this is just gonna be another book that our community will enjoy reading oh, I'm as sure. well. I love that we have what the programs we do just to encourage reading. Well, in, in strategic planning, our community wanted more author events, wanted more connection with those authors, and this is a, one way that we'll do that. Yeah, definitely. It's a huge success. So, so I'm looking forward to it. I'll have to read that book. I am too, <laughs> and it's, it's a great it's a great book. I have read it because I had to with the committee. <laughs> so I encourage everyone to uh, to check it out. And again, it's We Are Completely Beside Ourselves, Karen Joy Fowler. And um, so great. it's all about reading this summer. It's it all, is. I it's love that. Getting us ready for the fall as well with the programming. And I know we'll be back um, soon to talk about more programs for the fall. But yes, we have a lot coming up for the fall. Yes. And hopefully everyone, That'll be our next episode. <laughs> everyone will join us um, for the last you know few weeks that we have of summer. And because our library now is open seven days a week. We yeah. are we are open on Sundays as well, and we're open and available to our community seven days a week. So. Yes, so come to the library. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks so much for well, your time. Well, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Beyond Books.